Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today I was expecting to make a video talking about our first set of online matches that would have happened last weekend, but of course they were cancelled uh, due to a California um, you know, recommendation of like a stay home and work day. So today we're not going to talk about that, uh, but on Friday we are going to finally give picks and talk about online matches and finally talk about matches again. Uh, and there's a lot of them, so we're going to have to uh, really, really uh, power through a lot of that. But today we're going to talk about Echo uh, and her impact or potential impact on the Overwatch League. Now, she's not going to be available in the Overwatch League for uh, probably another month or so. But it'll be interesting just to see her in the game and see what she's like Uh when we really get to see her in the hands of pros, but over the weekend we did get a um, kind of a set of friendly matches between the San Francisco Shock and the Soul Dynasty, and then the LA Gladiators and the LA Valiant, uh, where they were just playing as the uh, as Echo and and the LA Valiant LA Gladiators one was not the most serious. Uh, that one was a little more of a of a, of a friendly joke competition. Uh, this. San Francisco Soul one was a little more serious, um, but it was super one-sided, so I don't really know how hard anybody tried. But we did get to see some Echo, and we got to kind of see the the types of things you'll see out of Echo. And Echo, obviously, as a very mobile, uh, very aerial, airborne hero, uh, she's going to have a lot of the same counters that you'd see out of Farah. Your Diva, your McCree, your Widowmaker... Um, probably Ash too, to a little bit of a of an extent, though not as much as you know the other ones, as as always. And Soldier seventy six heroes like that. Echo herself is also a really good counter to Farah. The the probably the first time ever there's been a really good Farah counter. Uh, you know, there's always been Diva who can really just kind of fly up into Farah's face and then stop her that way, but. Now we have a hero who can just go right up to Farah, hit her with a couple try shots, and she's done, and then just go back down into the fight, which I think is really uh, good, because as much as I love Farah as a hero, I love playing Farah, I love um, watching Farah play, I think Farah is just a really fun hero to to see played uh, at, a, at a high level, and I think she's a fun hero to play in general. She's really, really strong in certain scenarios and in certain places, and obviously... Outside of the Overwatch League, when you get to the low ranks, Far is really busted because people can't aim and so they can't kill her. Um, but in the Overwatch League and in you know your higher uh, ratings, what you see out of Farah uh, is that she's really good on maps that are that are very open, uh, with a lot of uh, room for her to fly around. Um, so. That's where she's always been really, really good. Now you can have Echo to counter those uh, situations where Far is very, very, you know, good in a certain stretch of a map or an entire map, whatever it may be. And you can still have Echo do a lot of other things. Um, and I think that's really where Echo's strength is, is that she's not limited to just being uh, a Far counter. She's a really good far counter, but she's going to be run probably anyway um, in other situations. She's a very good dive hero. Um, she has decent escape uh, if you, you know, have your shift ready uh, that you can get out. And of course, you know, you have her ultimate, which is the ultimate escape ability. Uh, you can just become anybody and get a free health pool uh, while you try to escape. Now... In regards to her ultimate, I'm not going to talk about whether or not I think it needs to be tuned down or not, because I think it will be anyway. It's more just so, like, how, how good is it? And my thing with... I don't think Echo's ultimate is busted, other than the, the fact right now that it has a bit too much... Um, uh, the the ult build percentage when you're uh, duplicating is a little too high. But other than that, I don't think the ultimate ability is too broken, right? I think it's actually a really good ultimate ability because you're just becoming a hero, right? Like you're just becoming another version of a hero and you're doing it temporarily, right? And in a lot of cases, you're going to see people use it as like a panic ult, kind of like we see with Doomfist Ultimate. That's the way Jeff Kaplan kind of talked about a number of times is, you know, 
you may notice like you're about to die, so you just ult someone of the other team. Doesn't matter who it is, just to get that free health to try to escape. Um, you, and you don't try to you know do anything with it. But Echo is going to be interesting to see because certain heroes really, really, really uh, work very well for Echo. Obviously, a lot of tank play uh, will be changed because of Echo because Echo can turn into tanks and often does turn into tanks. So, you know, if you can have two Reinhardt and you can have double Shatter, that's pretty good. Um, or if you can, you know, turn into Diva and have double Defense Matrix Eat and, you know, double Bomb, that's pretty good. On the support side, obviously, you can get double Res with Mercy or double Immortality Field with Baptiste. So there's a lot of things you can do with the ultimate that I think will be very uh, telling going forward and will be very impactful going forward. But as a whole, I think it's going to be very interesting. But in terms of how I think Echo will impact the Overwatch League, um, I, I don't really expect the entire... Uh, game and the entire, you know, whole meta to evolve uh, because of um, what we have with Echo. Uh, I don't think how uh, I don't think that Echo is going to be a hero that comes in instantly changes the way the meta is. Um, I think we'll see Echo. I feel like Echo is going to be somewhat situational. I think there's going to be some maps where Echo just doesn't work super well. Um, you know, a map that has uh, not a lot of height and not a lot of area you can fly around. I don't really think Echo is super good in those types of maps. Maybe she will be. Um, you know, places she can kind of like hide, pop out, you know, drop her sticky bombs, leave. Um, you know, I, I can't really tell it's a little too early for me to be able to tell exactly what's developing around echo and how good she's going to be um you know she she might be better than even i think she's going to be i think there's definitely a uh a number of things that echo can do that are very interesting that i think not many other heroes are able to do other than just her ability to fly around um but the amount of damage he can put out at times is really, really, really good and really, really, really strong. And it's very interesting to see sometimes because what she's able to do with her sticky bombs is a, is a massive amount of damage. And her beam, the, the focus beam, is a very, very, very uh, interesting um, ability because it just does more damage when things are... At, at half damage. So she's going to be very good for, for breaking barriers. She's going to be very good for, for barrier breaking, good against bunkers, stuff like that, because she can melt down these barriers and then also sticky bomb them as they're kind of set up there. So it'll be an interesting uh, setup to watch. I'm really interested to see what she does for a lot of teams in the Overwatch League. This is a lot of stuff that I'm just kind of trying to, you know, picture and figure out. But a lot of what we saw in these matches, again, you know, with the, the, the practice matches or the show matches, whatever you want to call them, a lot of what we saw was a ton of Echo being countered by McCrees and Widowmakers, uh, and I think being paired in some cases with Tracer. Um, but it's obviously difficult when you only have two DPS to do much more than just be like, we have a Widowmaker to counter. And we have a an echo to also counter. So that's really what it comes down to. But I think a lot of the players are going to be very good at echo or the players who are super um, uh, what's the way to put it? That are very flexible. Right? Players that can play like everybody. Right? You have your Prophets, your Surefors, your Sinatras, uh, in a lot of cases, your Liberos, these these uh, these players who have so many different heroes in their hero pool that they and they're good as this many heroes that they can really, really, really 
benefit from playing a hero like Echo who can turn into anybody. And it's the kind of thing where, like, you know, you're going to see these damage players going for uh, Earth Shatters, which is going to be hilarious because they shouldn't be, uh, <laughs> but they will be. And I think it's really interesting. And I think it's really crazy to see. It's going to be awesome to see how players kind of uh, adjust to all that kind of stuff because there's some really, really, really cool and good um, things that you can do with Echo that I think be really fun to watch. But I want to know what you think down below about Echo uh, and her potential impact in the Overwatch League. I, I think that she's going to be a hero that comes in, probably gets a, a decent amount of playtime uh, early on, and probably is a hero that gets played a decent amount, but I, I still think in the same way that like you know, we don't see Farah all the time uh, because there's uh, strong counters to Farah. I'd expect somewhat the same with Echo as time goes on and Echo is more uh, kind of figured out. But who knows? Maybe Echo comes in and is played every time. I don't really know, but I think she's going to be played a lot more in dive compositions. Like she'll be favored by a lot of those teams that like to run dive. Um, and the one of the problems with Echo is it's very hard to make a decision of how to counter Echo because if Echo can copy whatever you have it can always be a bit of a a bit of a problem but I'll wait and I'll see what happens and I'm excited to see what more we get out of Echo but that's all I have for you today so if you enjoyed consider liking and subscribing I uh, hope you're all having a wonderful week hope you're all staying safe hope you're all staying indoors staying isolated like we gamers are known for and uh, that's that's it so uh, thank you again and uh, I'll see you all next time bye bye